Since the opening for classes in 1972, FIU's College of Education has had an immediate and lasting impact on South Florida. The Miami-Dade County Public School System employs more teachers who have graduated from FIU than any other institution. College of Education faculty and staff continue to infuse graduates with the knowledge, confidence, and enthusiasm necessary to thrive in South Florida's diverse educational environment. The College of Education, I think, has historically um, taken a leadership role in generating the teachers and preparing educators for the local school districts in South Florida. The faculty is top-notch. Um, every person I've dealt with as a professor, doctors, all, even um, student adjunct faculty have been really knowledgeable. Graduates of the College of Education have become leaders of their field. Special Education Teacher Augustine Grana is the 2012 Miami-Dade County Teacher of the Year, rising to the top among educators in the nation's fourth largest school district. His philosophy is simple, I focus on the abilities of my students rather than their disabilities. You know, these kids, regardless of, of their disability, deserve an education and it needs to be the best. Um, you know, we can talk about all the things that they can't do, but, but you know, that's not, that defeats the purpose. Let's look at the things that they can do and build upon those things. Christine O'Hara also graduated from the College of Education. The 2011 Miami-Dade County Teacher of the Year says she loves it when her students at Palmetto Middle School get it. I know when a kid gets it. Um, their eyes light up, they sit up, or they, they get real excited, and, uh, or they blurt out because they just can't hold it in. And, and that's the most rewarding part of teaching, when you know that something you said triggered an idea and, and they just get it. Programs within the College of Education extend beyond the traditional boundaries of educating new teachers for the classroom. Uh, the College of Education not only prepares teachers for local and national school districts, but it also has other programs that prepares professionals in a variety of areas. My passion really is to help people. Um, the thing about recreational therapy is that it can be an av avenue to so many different allied healths. Well, in the program specifically, I mean, I've had a blast. Um, this I've only been in, in a year, actually, I've been able to c complete it in a year and that's uh, probably been my best experience I've had at FIU. A number of these programs allow individuals to continue their education throughout the continuum of their careers. In a program called CLAVE, or Creating Latino Access to a Valuable Education, the college offers scholarships to Hispanic teachers and principals to earn advanced degrees. The fact that this is a grant and that um, scholarships are offered to the participants to ease the cost of the master's and PhD programs have given some of our administrators and teachers that otherwise would not have the opportunity to have access to these programs that opportunity. The Clavier program has allowed uh, for leaders at our same level to come together in, in, in a bit of a think tank method where we oftentimes, every week when we do meet, not only do we discuss the theory, but also the problems that are transpiring uh, in the school system uh, and the problems that are, that are transpiring in general in education. Faculty within the college are thought leaders. Following in the footsteps of their predecessors, today's professors research and publish on a variety of issues that are critical importance to the South Florida community. Dr. Maureen Kinney, a professor of counselor education, received funding from the Children's Trust of Miami-Dade County to provide safety education to preschoolers and their parents. CLOSS, Kids Learning About Safety, is a successful prevention program that draws upon the culmination of years of research, including her own experience as a clinical psychologist working with sexually abused children and their families. We teach parents and children about personal safety, personal boundaries, body safety, and uh, really our goal there is to kind of help parents uh, gain an awareness about child sexual abuse and help them kind of create a molester-free environment for their children. Uh, the program is uh, largely research-based, so we do a lot of testing with the children before the program begins, and we do a lot of testing with the children when it ends, so we know that they make gains in their knowledge and in their skill base. The service component of the College of Education's mission brings the work of faculty and students full circle. In Dr. Joyce Fine's reading program at North Miami Beach High School, graduate students who are already state certified teachers tutor teenagers, 
many of whom are new arrivals to this country and most of whom read below grade level. It's a scenario in which everyone wins. The high school students receive private tutoring and professor finds students, many of whom who have never taught teenagers, are forced out of their comfort zone, making them better teachers in the process. In high school, the focus, I think, is more on just comprehension. It's not on phonics skills, but for these English language learners that um, my student, for example, he came from Haiti only four years ago, it's difficult for him. He's still struggling with the language. Basically, it gives him an opportunity for me to actually focus on the needs that he might not get targeted in his regular schooling. In another program that was created in 1994, FIU is partnering with Miami-Dade County Public Schools to mentor students so they will continue to a post-secondary education. Called the Partnership in Academic Communities, or PAC, the award-winning program identifies middle school students who are at risk of dropping out and mentors them through the 12th grade. Participating students study in a low-risk, high-intensity environment with master's teachers at their home school and at FIU. Despite the fact that you come from a low-income socioeconomic area, you can still be academically successful. And how do you do that? By fostering uh, the students and guiding them and providing them the experiences they need to be successful. While PAC students are free to attend any college they are accepted to, FIU offers four-year scholarships to PAC graduates who come here. Edlene Fleurmond is one of those success stories. I know my parents are very proud of me because I'm graduating and being the, the youngest out of five siblings and my brothers never completing, I think that to them is something that is so gratifying. But at the same time, seeing that I want to do something that is so beneficial for not just myself but for other people, I think makes them even prouder. It's not just the students in South Florida who are benefiting from the expertise of College of Education faculty and staff. In August 2011, university faculty traveled to the Dominican Republic providing professional development to 50 educators in three schools that are supported by the Mission International Rescue Foundation. College of Education professors worked with all the educators to share interactive, hands-on strategies and activities that will make for enriched learning experiences in their classroom. Although I went there as an instructor, quote unquote, I was, a, I was a learner myself. The fact that I was there teaching was one thing, but I learned so much from them as well. And I think that's the best thing that I could have gained from it. This local and global community engagement takes learning beyond the walls of the College of Education into the lives and hearts of the next generation of leaders.